what is happening YouTube second upload of the night um this is gonna be a Memphis Grizzlies production video and I'll definitely say the Grizzlies they also had it rough um we had we had a, like a good amount of injuries for sure and I'm not a true Memphis Grizzlies fan but this is like my other team because of my guy Gigi Jackson and I've been a fan of bro since like South Carolina even a little bit when he was in high school too and it's been a pleasure watching his career and I'm glad that he's on a team like the Memphis Grizzlies I think it's a perfect environment for him and the Grizzlies they're 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 definitely up there and the content contenders in my opinion it's just the injuries have been pretty rough and the Grizzlies they got skills all around you got John Moran you got Desmond Bain you got my goat Gigi you got Trip you got uh Zach Eady and then you got a bench of Scotty Pippen Jr. Vince Williams um then you got Brandon Clark Tanard Smart um and then the backup is um I believe uh Jay Huff and then you got a uh, Jalen Wells too who bought out in the summer league so Grizzlies Grizzlies definitely got a deep team for sure and the Grizzlies definitely do need to depth for sure because we've been pretty beat up um with the injury support this is the depth chart so first trip Jaron Jackson Jr. he's out which is a big a big bummer and then Vince Williams, another big loss. So our defense is taking a hit. And then you got Luke Kennard, who's a pretty good three-point shooter. He's also out for sure. Um, and of course my goat Gigi Jackson. He's probably not gonna be playing till like late December or January. Um, which. It's going to suck not seeing my favorite player play. I'll still watch some, some Memphis Grizzlies game for sure. Probably like a lot of them still just because Grizz are a pretty exciting team. Um, You still got Ja. Um, you got Marcus. You got Bane. And then at power forward, you could put uh, Brandon Clark, I guess. Or some people say Brandon Clark's a backup big, but I just let him put power forward. Santi Adama's or Jake LaRavia, they probably going to play a certain amount of minutes. And I guess Conchar is going to take uh, Vince Williams' place, which is defense, could be solid. And then backup is either going to be Clark or J. Huff. Depends on how the Grizzlies use uh, Brandon Clark. Um, And then hopefully Jalen Wells plays some minutes. His game reminds me of. Cameron Johnson, he's a solid 3 and D player. He can shoot the ball. Um, although he is, he could be a little raw. He does have off games. Um, but I think with some more repetitions, I think he could be a solid contributor for sure. Um, where do I predict the Memphis Grizzlies? I think the floor. I got a fourth seed as the floor. Um, ceiling though, I think Grizz is gonna win the chip. I think this could be a year when the Grizzlies just swing out of left field and surprise everybody with the rings. Because with the front court of Jaron Jackson Jr. and Zach Eady, the defense is going to be crazy. And I'm gonna show you the Memphis Grizzlies schedule. This, um. The schedule is not too bad. The Jazz, I think Grizz is going to take that. Rockets, Grizz is going to take that. Magic, Magic might take that. Grizz take the Bull. They take the Nets. I think Grizz takes the Bucks. Well, or probably split it in one of these games. Grizz takes the Nets. Grizz takes the Lakers. Grizz takes the Wizards. Like, that's a team. Like, the schedule is, like, pretty team friendly. And then starting like 
I guess like the second week of November, that's when the schedules would roughen up. But I think with everybody healthy, the Grizz can definitely go to toe to toe with so many teams. The Warriors, I think, is the best match. I think Grizz got them too. Nuggets, ooh, Nuggets is going to be a really good one. They re- is going to fit for real. Going to be a good one. Um, and then. Sixers, kind of tough one. Then again, schedules soften up. Um, and then you get some competitions, but at least for the first like two months, schedule's not going to be too bad. And if it is competitive, I think it's just because the Grizz going to go to the toe. And oh, hey, a pretty fun one, December twenty third. A pretty, it's going to be an interesting game. If Gigi, um, let's see if Gigi plays that game though. Um, but but the schedule gives me confidence on why I think the Grizz could go pretty far. And yes, I understand it, the concerns about injuries and all that. Um, especially considering Trip and Vince Williams, um, both are out, so opposing teams could take advantage. Um, but if it's not too long, I think it's gonna, I think it should be okay. Um, and then, if, when, if everybody healthy though, ooh, imagine this starting five. John Morant, Desmond Bain, Gigi Jackson, Tripp, Edie, oh my goodness, how are you gonna stop this team? Like, fully healthy? But realistically, though, I don't know if Gigi's gonna start. I don't know if Jenkins gonna favor it. Um, maybe probably pivots. But then, still, like my guy Gigi, Scott is the limit for my goat, bro. But I would really prefer him to see him play in the same lineup with Job ja because I think Gigi's gonna benefit so much with his athleticism, athleticism, and Ja Ja Morant could feed Gigi Jackson, Jackson. Um, but if they don't start him, it's not the end of the world, I guess. But hopefully he plays some minutes when he returns. Um, and then Zach Eady, um, he's going to get the glass for sure. The Grizzlies' biggest weakness, like, I watched him game the game last year, um, was always, was, mo- well, not always, but I want to say mostly, was rebounding. Because everybody was able to crash the glass against Memphis. And now they added Zach Eady. Ooh. And I'll admit, I was pretty skeptical initially about Zach Eady. I preferred Khalil Ware. Because I felt Khalil Ware, he could crash the glass as well too. But he's more of a modern NBA big. That can shoot the ball and play defense and all that. Pretty versatile for sure. Um, and also would fit a, a lob threat for John Morant. But, I will say, I watched Zach Eady go up against Walker Kessler during the Summer League. And, that is pretty impressive how he actually, um, dominated Wa- Walker Kessler. Yes, it's a Summer League, but then it's against, guy, like, NBA proven guys like Kessler and Taylor Hendricks. Um, that is pretty solid for sure. And I was like, okay, I'm starting to be sold on ED for sure. Um, I guess like the the way how people perceive ED is kind of like the same reason why people sleep on Zubak. Like, yeah, both don't shoot threes and all that, but they do the dirty work. They do their job. They crash the glass. Except Zubak, of course. Um, he's a bit more proven. Like. It's better like lat like laterally, but I think Edie, I think Edie definitely got it in his bag for sure. And even if Edie's not the best in PNR uh, defense, um, yeah, Jaron Jackson Jr. to protect him for sure. Like he could guard like in like like the outside, and Edie could just play zone. So that's that for sure. But let me know. What do you think about the Memphis Grizzlies? Where do you think will the Grizzlies go? You think I'm being too optimistic and all that? 
or you agree that the Grizzlies gonna uh will, could be one of those teams that win the chip. Anyways, um, have a good night or or day if whenever you're watching this, and peace.